Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasan. It is time for The Man of Steel. Um, Superman and Lois, uh, a surprise hit, actually. That first episode was actually really good. Um, we just got finished watching <laughs> The Flash. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but uh it, was, it is what it is i'm not you know we gotta understand that uh, most of the flash is going to be uh leftovers of the episodes uh before the COVID break so um the story might be a little um strange for a while but you know we'll see we'll see uh anyways uh but this show has been pretty uh solid the first episode at least i i dare say it's actually better than uh episode i'd say at this moment at least the episode at least the episode is on the same level if not better as the pilot episodes for the flash in arrow so it's starting strong that's for damn sure now if it can continue this same sort of serious tone then you know, I'm down with it. I'm in it to win it. So here we go. Uh, your latest reaction to Superman and Lois, episode two, starts now. Damn, so wait, did he give up his football ambition? I mean, they said Luther, but my thought is the fact that it's a Luther from another dimension. Because he was talking about how I'm just like you, my fam, my, my planet is gone, and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm. I swear, Jonathan. Yeah. So I'm just not going to go to school? Until we know how to keep it from happening again, yes. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. I thought coming here would be a chance to start over, but I guess I'm just going to be a freak like always. Right. I get that. No, I get that. Is that Big Belly Bur Burger, by the way? Moldova. Is that Russia? Or All right, Master Chief, what's up? You, you also getting that trip tonight? Hey, what is the name of the Doom Doom guy? Where is it? It is what? The Kryptonite! Kryptonite? Where is it? I take it you were unable to secure the necessary Kryptonite. We need to stop kal before he does to this world. What, what he did to mine. Black man! Alright, so he's he might be a good Luther, possibly. Why do we need these big winter jackets? Because you're going to the Fortress of Solitude. Are we flying somewhere? That's cool. We're going to the Fortress of Solitude. I feel bad for him, too, though. I think something's going to happen. Wow, what if they're going to have, like, a love triangle? I think he's going to fall for her a bit as well. Thanks. Interesting. Nah, he for sure is... Like, what would be interesting is that if he got powers and, like, here? put a person in a fucking hospital during a running play, like, he hit somebody so fucking hard. This is a cool shot, though. Reminds me of Man of Steel or uh, BBS. Wait, does Superman actually get cold, though? Maybe he kind of feels it? I don't know. Hey, are we gonna get a real Jor-El? That'd be kind of cool. Your family history begins in Krypton's nice. second largest city. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Lois is just gonna work remotely now. Hey, hey! He looked like Russell Crowe. You brought your son to me. It is possible for us to further our Kryptonian heritage after all. Cool. Yeah, I'm telling him that it's gonna be a love triangle. Man, these filters make a very interesting sort of. Uh, Can I help you with situation. something? But I. I sometimes think it's a little, they're a little too hard with the lens. All right, let's see, Morgan Edge. He looked like Hush. You told the boys you're Superman. Couldn't lie to him anymore. You sure as hell could. This is gonna keep my family together. No, Clark. It's gonna tear them apart. It's gonna tear it apart. How would you feel though, if you knew one of them is actually has power? What is it, Rossetti? Mongolia. Because I would hate for what happened in New Carthage to happen here. Oh, but <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah. You think job creation targets by nearly 50%? Perhaps Smallville isn't the place to take a risk right now. I certainly wouldn't want to cause any harm to this great community. That's a good, 
that's a good spin. And uh, that, that was good how they closed up to create intensity. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. That was dope. Yo, he fucked Master Chief up. I know you can hear the bomb in my ship. People are gonna get hurt. Me? Or them? Wow. What are you doing, Luther? Is it a fake out? I want to see what kind of Luther it really is. Oh wow. Wow, that Luther was legit serious. Okay, so okay, still a fucking dick Luther. Not necessarily a good Luther. It's just a survivor from a blown up planet that's still a dick. So wait, now that Luther is, uh, I'm telling yo, I'm telling you guys, I'm almost banking money. He, can, he might kill somebody, dude. I'm, I'm telling you. Is his name Doom Slayer? I'm gonna start calling him Doom. Oh fuck! Have fun being Superman and Superboy or whatever. You're a really great brother. You know that? I know how much you gave up by saying yes to coming here. Right. Your whole life's in Metropolis. Your girlfriend's there. Did they really need... I mean... You know, technically, they probably could have just stayed in Metropolis and just pulled uh, Jordan out of he's fucking abilities. school. Absolutely. That's it. The cells can only store minimum amounts of energy from the sun. But he's released an ocular blast. Only once. He doesn't even have 100 to your strength. Test him again. There is no reason to do so. Human DNA is just too limiting. Right. Throw him I into know the you sun. wish for this. <laughs> but he will never be like you. Right. Baby, you have another bad day? Screw you. Ah! No, boys. Hey, no. I am sick of your crap, okay, Jordan? This is not just about you. Don Draper over here kissed Sarah at the bonfire party. So now her dick boyfriend and the entire team are out to get me. That's good right, point. The playbook. Yeah, that's genius. a good point. I guess super perception isn't one of your powers. Okay, okay. You know what, Jonathan? You and I, we could go. This place looks like the darkest, most depressive house, for real. It's like, it works well, but at you the same it. time, it's like, okay, Sorry, really late. too dark. What if, uh, what if, what if, uh, what if Jordan just oh, gets horny that. and then, um. <laughs> his Part powers his what is jonathan's deal in the comics because isn't he half human what the fuck is this shit one hour tops Joy ribs. that looks good though oh my god those ribs look good they are so fucking expensive here in japan like 40 dollars for a full rib yeah i agree i agree like i there hasn't been a bored moment at all you have to stop protecting him superman stop calling him that where i come from you're like me and you don't trust him either because you know what he is capable of before Kylo. no <laughs> oh shit that was dope that was fucking dope wow oh shit all right let's see that face or was it a robot? It was a fucking robot. Tell him back, General. Was he crying? Was he crying? Or is those scars? I think moving to the country was probably good storylines for the kids, though. That's why. That's the main reason. Otherwise, it would have been kind of boring. But it would have been nice to have a city fo uh, forced situation but so honestly I, I really i don't care what some stupid hologram said you're my twin brother i know you better than anyone twin you're brother. different now wait what something twin happened brother. to you definitely something special hey oh uh, what if they when what if their powers only work when they're together right so they're twin brothers but essentially 50% Kryptonian, 50%, 50% makes 100 Kryptonian. So they're like the fucking Wonder Twins. Are they going that angle? The fucking Wonder Twins? So they got a few, like, they got a base. It's like, um, what's that fucking movie with Will Smith? So essentially they need to be in the same radius for the powers to kind of kick in. That'd be a cool concept, actually. I like that idea. Yeah, Hancock. Thank you. Reverse Hancock.
That is the best writing I have done since you took over. Ha! Ah! He's going to crush you. Let him try. Okay, so that that handles that situation. Seven ah seven seven three four. Superman seven seven three four. It seems this planet's Cal L is not entirely like the one you've encountered, Captain Luthor. Ooh, are we gonna get evil Superman flashbacks? Like injustice ish? Let's see. Oh hell yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Woo! Black suit Superman. He isn't like my Kal El. Not yet. Hey, let's go! Let's go! Yo! They are killing it with this show. All right. Consider me invested here. Consider me invested. Okay. There you have it, guys. That's the latest episode of Superman and Lois. That was fucking dope. That, like, I think what, like, I think uh, one of you guys, uh, you guys mentioned it the best um, um, earlier. I think what's happening here, essentially, is... Um, What's making this show so good is just the pacing, honestly. The pacing is really working well. Um, it's, it's, the music is working well. Um, the music doesn't sound corny for the most part. And it's just kind of just like, like, I like it. It's, it's weird. It's weird because I'm not an avid Superman reader. But, you know, I know enough. I, I guess I know enough. But it's so crazy how fresh the story feels. Like, like I was thinking about how this Luther is from another planet. And, but he's actually kind of a dick still, right? Because that's why that whole thing with the ship to me was so important. Because I was, like, wondering... I'm like, wait, are you really about to test the waters here? But see, he's going, and see, that's the thing. It's like he's still a bad Luther. He's an evil Luther because he's basically willing to sacrifice. He used a live ship. Like, that was no joke, right? So I don't think there will be any compromise here. I am very curious about this particular luther though now let's take a look really quick at the superman wikipedia because somebody dr name dropped hell like like to hell and back right let me take a look here real quick uh here we go so hell was a, con a kryptonian space explorer who worked for jor-el and laura hell loved the two dearly as if they were his own parents when jor-el became aware of Krypto krypton's impending destruction he constructed constructed a prototype spaceship and tasked hell to protect krypton's history and knowledge among the stars however the journey was a dangerous one hell survived many dangers and reached earth seven, uh, 27 layers after kal el son of jor el had arrived right resolving to save krypton he hell believed that super is that him though damn this dude is really something else okay then i'm trying i'm trying to remember there was another one that was kind of like a doomsday ish type dude that had like he knew about 12th powers and 11 powers or whatever like that okay initially he has a small encounter with superboy observing him from afar recognize that superboy is not full kryptonian hell intends to exterminate him after he meets superman he also watches superman fight with a tripodal chrysonium a kryptonite animal later he attacks blah 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 Okay, Hell believes Superboy to be an abomination. Okay, Hell, he confronts Supergirl, so he explains that he has a mission to bring Krypton back to life. Okay, so whatever. So that's, in all likelihood, that's not the same. That, like, they're not going to go the same direction with um, Hell. <sighs> I was uh, thinking, I was trying to figure out who was that one in Superman Rebirth, like, there was a Superman, and he was kind of like lava type of lava crypto, like alternate Kryptonians. There was one that was teaching Superman about all of his powers and uh, alternatives. Like, uh, 
I mean, maybe it's going to take a while for me to actually find that, but um, there was just a particular one that was like, like a mix version of him or something like that. Um, interesting though. I'm I'm very fascinated with the direction that they're going. That was cool. Like I completely forgot that the CW already has a CW. Uh, they they have. A black suit Superman. They have a black Superman suit. Black suit. Yeah, they basically have a black suit that they can still use, and that was pretty fucking cool, man. Like, we're gonna like. So my assumption is the fact that Luther comes from that planet where Superman is evil, or eviler, or he's a conqueror. And then his Luther, but see, like I'm saying, I thought that was really important with the uh, that particular. <laughs> what is this? Um, I thought that was really particularly important with that spaceship because you know essentially he was willing to kill all those people, and I'm assuming that was Metropolis. He sent it to, um, so he's so full of anger and hate. But then at the same time, he's trying to side with uh, Mr. Lane or General Lane to help protect. I don't I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I really wonder if that's going to uh, lead because I don't I don't think Lu Lu Luther is essentially good at all. Um, you know, if he was willing to blow up some people like that. So very interesting. Very interesting. Ah uh, man, why did the blind man throw the plate uh the the plate on the table 12 times because the mother told her that if she did it again, she would see. Okay. Thank you for following um OC. Appreciate that. Woo! That was a good episode. I'm uh, you know what? I think I I might have to um I might have to really turn somebody uh Earth X. Is it Earth X? Is there Earth X? Hold on. Let me search real quick. Superman, Superman, Earth, X. What? I'm kind of ki- Oh, is this? Oh, you're talking about this one? Oh, Legion of Superman. Um... Uh, Le Legion of Superheroes. I remember this one vaguely, vaguely. I actually kind of want to go back and read this story here. Um, this was a uh, Earth One Superman. I really want to go back and read this story because uh, I really remember there being a problem with um, young Superman, uh, young Superboy, being on the football team, and I think he like put some kid in the hospital because his powers were starting to click in but like this story uh this was one of the best ones the the batman one i didn't like so much um i uh, it, was, it was getting a little too Zack snyder-ish for me but i i feel like this worked really well for um very interesting but i'm definitely on that theory i'm definitely on that theory that uh uh the the twins essentially they're gonna try to pull a wonder twins type of thing i didn't i didn't even know that um um oh that's kind of cool uh i didn't know that they were essentially twins like i i was under the oh my god we got a sub raid got a sub raid appreciate that man thank you negan for uh gifting all those subs to uh dj alex quintos Daz, vice all of that like you're going crazy crazy man with the sub raids i appreciate that um oh crisis on earth x no 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 it's not that superman um no 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 because if it was crisis on earth x that would be nazi superman did we see it no the, we didn't have superman around that time huh Huh. It's actually a good question. What happened? What happened to Earth X Superman, uh, of uh the CW version, Nazi Superman? I don't think that's him though. That'd be interesting if it was though. 
Uh, but okay, I'm I'm really definitely going in for that theory that the twins, so Jonathan and Jordan, they only really work together fully when they are uh within the same vicinity of each other. That's why Jordan's powers essentially kick in when they're both like around each other and they can kind of focus or concentrate or when they're really like kind of like in the emergency sort of uh situation like that now um i'm very curious how jonathan uh superman this kid jonathan i'm very curious how his powers work um because i know that like i i don't keep up with this version at all but i'm very curious how his <laughs> gohan is he kind of like gohan ish like you can see it so he can bleed and everything so uh i know he can fly right um i'm very curious how his powers work batman is not impressed here is his name is is his name jonathan kent Let's see. Well, let's see what the official Wikipedia says. Uh, is his name? Is this him? No, no, no. This is the Dick Superboy, right? Nah. Right? Wait, hold on. Staying close to Damien, being a good friend, and but okay, yeah, okay. This is it. This is him. So his name is Jonathan Samuel Kent. He is the firstborn of, yep, Superman reported. He now fights along his father as the young Superboy. Okay. Uh, Jonathan was born during the multiple blah, 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 blah. Cynthia Planet. Okay. So Jonathan grew up oblivious of his parents' past. Blah, 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 blah. Jonathan, okay. First adventures of Superboys. Here we go. So... Jonathan later discovered he had heat power, uh, including heat visions, when he accidentally killed his cat. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, damn. What the fuck? He killed his cat? He and his family would later encounter the Eradicator. Oh, boy. Who was in intent on absorbing Jonathan's Kryptonian size. This battle would eventually end up in the Batcave. Ooh, located on the moon. Batman has a Batcave on the moon? Wouldn't it just be a Bat Bunker? Okay, Lois would use one of Batman's soups, suits and help John and Superman to defeat the Eradicator. Afterwards, Clark gave John a hat and glasses to help form John's secret identity. He would later travel to his father to the Justice League Watchtower and Superman introduced John to Batman and Wonder Woman as Superboy, making him part of the Justice League. That's dumb. All right. In order to pop in order to properly discipline their sons and teach them the value of working together, Batman and Superman had them undergo a series of challenges, but their lack of teamwork caused them to fail every challenge. The boys finally managed to put aside their differences and save their fathers from an apparent threat in the Batcave, which later turned out to be a ruse. Okay. The Super Sons. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. All right. So uh, there may not really be a um. Oh shit, J King. Thank you. Uh, our Negan. Thank you for gifting the sub sub here. I was just wondering if there was something that might give us some sort of like thought process. If like if uh if uh Jonathan, if Superboy in the comics, if his powers are like kind of like fading, are like in and out because he's half human are are they basically just going to pull like a gohan and shit and like oh gohan is powerful because reasons right <laughs> like, like he's just reasons whatever um but if uh jonathan in the comics is really uh vulnerable because of his human side 
that would be very interesting to see. But I, I kind of like this bright burn thing they're going for. But again, in theory, I really do feel like it's going to work that way. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them that like within a few episodes in that Jonathan TV show, Jonathan is going to have some sort of game or some sort of tryout or something. And Jordan is within the vicinity, right? And Jonathan is just going to go for some particular move or something like that. And then he's just going to fucking, uh, what up? Cool boy. Thank you for following. Uh, bump, 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 bump. I need to change that. Cause I know it's going to get copyrighted. And so in all likelihood, I feel like, uh, Jordan is just going to go, I'm uh, not Jordan. Jonathan is just going to go for some sort of pass or some shit like that. Right. And then he's just going to, like, legit hit the black dude um, and put that motherfucker into a coma or some shit like that. Like, that's when his powers are legit going to kick in. And, you know, he didn't, you know, he's not going to kill him. Like, he killed his cat in the comics. But I do feel it's going to be something where it's going to be one of those great powers comes great responsibility things. And then... um so he like hits him so hard it puts him in a fucking coma or some shit like that. And then that creates the triangle even more about um that love triangle or whatever. It's like, well, we took out your boyfriend. Now choose one of us. Should be an interesting story. That's my theory, anyways. All right. Um, um well, there you go. All right, y'all. So that's it uh, for the latest episode. Much better than The Flash. That's for damn sure. <laughs> we'll see you on the next episode.